Hey, 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 legends, Fraser Brooks here. And in today's interview, I'm so excited to bring to you a very special guest, the legend of all legends, my dad, Simon Brooks. Simon, also known as dad, how are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing real good. Very, very excited to see what's going to happen here. This yes. is going to be phenomenal. Yes, it's the first time we've ever done one of these uh, one mm-hmm. of these interviews in this sort of setup. Environment, yeah. yeah. It feels a bit weird, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I've been saying to you the last three days, you're getting nervous. You're getting nervous. And you're like, what's nervous? And I'm thinking he's talking about his driving on the way here. <laughs> on the way here. <laughs> Nervous. Don't, I don't do nervous. <laughs> so, Dan, I'm really excited about this because you have hundreds of different strategies that you've, over, you've used over the years. Yeah. And I want to go through some of them in terms of mindset and recruiting and objections and all that. Okay. But to start with, I want to go right back to the beginning. Everyone knows my story. And my story is partially your story of you thinking that what MLM stood for yeah. and all this. So let's go back, if you can remember that far, because as you can see, five years the, the white hair's getting really, the gray, it was gray last time I saw I you. No, And now it's white. It's getting white. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of having it all shaved <laughs> off, so then you can't tell what color it's gonna be. You'd look like a bowling ball if you did that. Yeah. Um, all right, so with that being said, let's go right back to the beginning, 1987. Okay. What happened? October 19th. Well, before that, my background is I used to be in the retail trade. I Mm -hmm. used to have a supermarket. Mm -hmm. My parents had four shops, you and Nan and Granddad, Mm -hmm. and they had two toy shops and Mm -hmm. two supermarkets, and we called them Brookways. Brookways. Well, we thought if Safeways can get away with it, (laughs) Brookways can. So that's what we did. And then I met your mother, mm-hmm. which is the woman of my dreams. She's she, he's only saying that because she's behind the scenes. Yeah. And I then thought, okay, let's go up, let's move up to north, because I'm obviously from the south. Mm-hmm. And I had a house, I bought a house that you was brought up in, mm-hmm. which was number 47, Hawks Head Street. I remember the south, basement. Yeah, in Southport. And I was flicking through the newspaper. We rented five of the bedrooms out to five strangers. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. The strangers were people like doctors, dentists and everything. So much so your godfather Mm -hmm. is a dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And he was the one who bought the newspaper. He bought the newspaper. Because you don't read the news. I don't, don't, yeah. I don't do newspapers. (laughs) I don't do reading. I know it might sound sad, but hey, that's me. I haven't got time for that. By the way, how did you fill the rooms? How did you fill the rooms with strangers? Like the five the five bedrooms that you had? Oh, place had, an advertisement in the paper. So you, instead of you being... So before you even joined Network Marketing, you were a creator and not a consumer. Yeah. You were placing ads, not reading the paper. Yeah. Wow. Well, originally, go back even a step before then, mm-hmm. I thought I could be like a gentleman in the United Kingdom mm-hmm. that sold Nescaf coffee mm-hmm. and Tate Lyle sugar mm-hmm. cheaper mm-hmm. on a market store in Petticoat Lane. Mm-hmm. He's called... Jack Cohen, Mm -hmm. Tesco's. Mm -hmm. I thought I could do that. So I then bought the first shop with your mum in a place called Littleport in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. And then we thought we could buy another one and then another one. Oh, my Lord. Was it a nightmare? (laughs) All the rent, rates, light, heat, staff, all the headaches, all the risk and all the gamble. Didn't want to do that. And how many many overheads do you have in network marketing business? (sighs) I don't have hope. Exactly. No headaches, right? No. Different kind of headaches. Yeah. Kind of headaches. yeah. So, okay, so you rented the rooms out, five rooms, five strangers, yeah. woke up one day, saw the newspaper that John, yeah. shout out to John, yeah. my godfather, mm-hmm. one of dad's best friends, yeah. um, he bought. It was on the k- kitchen table. Yeah. What happened? I borrowed the paper, yeah. took it into our... See, we had a bedroom mm-hmm. and we had a lounge. Mm-hmm. We said to all the tenants... They're out of bounds. Right, okay. So they couldn't come into those ah, nice. those rooms. So in the lounge was a telephone. Mm-hmm. So I took the newspaper into the lounge and I made three. Now, bearing in mind, this was 35 years ago. Yeah. Was it one of those? Was it one of those old school phones? Uh, <laughs> it was so long ago. It wasn't a mobile phone. It wasn't an iPhone. It was a handheld <laughs> mobile phone. <laughs> oh, really? yeah. No, it so, wasn't a, mo- it wasn't no, a no, cell no, no. phone. But it had, like, it had wires connecting the phone to yes, the actual yes, phone. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, there yes, we yes. go. So I made, this was on a Sunday, yeah. and I made three phone calls, uh-huh. all answer phones. Oh, there were, there were multiple adverts yeah. of, the, of the same thing. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So what did we do 35 years ago when you got an answer phone? I just hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't, didn't even answer. Yeah. The fourth person picked up mm. and told me and said to me, oh, it's about this, 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 in, involved in network marketing. I said, what's that? Mm-hmm. 
He said, he said, MLM. I said, what, make love monthly, make <laughs> lots of money? I didn't have a Scooby-Doo what MLM was. You had no Google as well. You Correct. couldn't Google it. Correct. But anyway, I was so excited because I wanted to make money. Mm. He said, well, I expect you're one of these people that pay by everything by credit card, aren't you? I said, well, funny enough, yeah, I am. He said, great, I can take your number. So I then trotted across so the hall into the bedroom, got my car, came back and gave him my number. Never met the guy, didn't know the guy and everything else. So it could have been a big scam. It could have been. But you, because you were so, you needed it so much. I was of the hungry. Situation, right? You were I hungry. was hungry. And why? Was that because you were living in a house, mum was pregnant with me. Yeah. And there were just loads of strangers pl- potting around. And you're like, this. I wanted another source of income. Although I was mm. making thousands a month mm. with rents. Mm. With rents, yeah. Yeah. That wasn't enough. Yeah. When you take the mortgage, you take the order bills and everything yeah. else out. It, yeah. It's not enough. And it was a big house, but it needed repairment, didn't it? Yeah, you um, got maintenance. Yeah, areas. yeah, yeah. Okay, so you joined Netter Marketing. I yeah. was in the womb in the room at yeah. your first ever Netter Marketing. Yeah. What was... You joined before you actually went to an event, didn't you? Because you paid yes. the credit card. Yes. You went to that event. Do you remember the feeling now that you had there? I was excited. but Because you couldn't believe is, what you found. This is what happened. Mm. I said to my sponsor, I said, okay. I said, so... What's the fastest and the best way of building this? He said, you need to build a team. Mm-hmm. Sell the dream, build a team. I said, okay, so how do I do that? I don't know anybody. I've only just moved up to this area. Mm-hmm. He said, Simon, how do I know you? Mm-hmm. I said, you place an advert in the paper. Right. He said, you could do the same. I said, oh, I've never done that. I don't think I'm going to be interested. It's going to cost me money. Mm. Yeah. He said, well, it's the easiest and fastest way of building it. Yeah. So I placed an advertisement in my local newspaper. I had 19 people coming for a presentation. One turned up. Well, so you placed this newspaper advertisement. 19 people like responded, responded. and said, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. let's go. I'll call But being naive you were like, and yeah, being fine. a novice, I thought if they say they're going to come, they're oh, gonna- they're going to come. <laughs> Because I don't do letdown. Yeah, yeah, and it's a letdown business as oh. well, isn't it? Like, what's that thing? They say sore neck syndrome. People in network marketing get sore necks because they're hanging the their head out, out, the, out the window, out the window, looking, looking for the people. Yeah, <laughs> sore neck. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so one person came. Yeah. Did they join? No. So, but that was the first time I physically saw 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 yeah. saw the circles. I uh, did. The circles and the, the first time that my sponsor showed me ah, how he came, ne- he came oh, my all days. the way. He spent four hours driving to my house to come do the presentation because I was a, a newbie. So hang on, your your upline is it Neil? Neil, is it Neil? Okay, Neil. So shout out to Neil if you're listening. Um, Neil drove four. He got you involved. Yeah. You've told him I place a newspaper advertisement. He's buzzing because he's thinking I've got one. Mm. I've got someone who's doing what I'm doing. Like he's willing. He's capable. He's yeah. hungry. He's coachable. I've got 19 people. They've responded and they're coming to the house. And yeah. Neil's like, great, I'll come up and do the presentation because yeah. you have no idea what you're doing. Didn't know. Didn't he drives know. four hours. Was yeah. it one way, four hours? Like Four hours to me, then four hours back. Home. All right, so eight hours round trip, one yeah. person turned up and they said no. Yeah. <laughs> How did you but, feel about that? I felt an absolute plant pot. <laughs> I thought, hello. Yeah, like, is this right? I can't do that again. No, I can't. But my main deal was I let him down. Didn't let me down. I let him down. Mm. So I wanted to make it up to him. Mm. So the best way was I need to do my own advertising. Wow. I need to place my own ads. Because your list, you know, when people say, like, write your list of contacts, mm. like when you got me to write yeah, my list yeah, when yeah, I yeah, started, yeah. your list was very small, wasn't it? Minute. And why was that? Why was your li- Why did you feel like your list was small? Well, don't forget I'm from the south. Yeah. Moved up to the northwest. Mm-hmm. Didn't know anybody. Right. In actual fact, it was the guy that videoed our wedding, Mm -hmm. your mum and I's wedding, Mm -hmm. and another person. And that Mm -hmm. was about it. I'm thinking, I don't know many people, so how am I going to find all these people? Because I knew it was about recruitment. Because if you're listening to this, folks, understand this. I thought initially it was about retail. Just sell the product, buy the product for X, just sell it for Y. Sell it for Y. Make the difference. And that is a great way if you want to be poor with your life. Sorry, I'm very blunt. Yeah, let me explain. Cowell, let, me, yeah, let me explain why. Because if we took a item, a product, whether it's a pencil, whether it's a lipstick, or whatever it's going to be, and you thought to yourself, I want to make thousands and thousands out of selling this product, 
Okay, that's great. Let's say you make a hundred pounds a month. Mm. Is that going to make you a millionaire? Mm. No, no. But the no way, leverage. The way I looked at it, what if I could then build a team and have ten thousand people selling those lipsticks or those pencils, mm -hmm. and I made a small amount of profit? Then I could make thousands and thousands and thousands mm -hmm. and that's what clicked with me and it's funny because back then this is the late 80s it was a it was a customer thing that's what everyone yeah. joined for yeah. right and to make yeah. a little bit an extra three hundred dollars four hundred dollars five hundred dollars yeah. and then it got into the situation mid 90s all the way up till probably four or five years ago where it yeah. was you always say to me sell the dream build, build the team. team sell the dream build, build the team. team sell the dream build, build the team. team and that's what your focus was and mm. then everyone in your organization that was what their focus was yeah. now it's a little bit different different because of different regulations people are going back to the customer stuff it's very easy to get customers on social media now not as easy to recruit people but now there's a lot of people with big customer teams and not enough leverage so if they don't get a customer this month they're not making big big amount of money correct the people who've got the big incomes they need to qualify for their royalties right. for their volume right so they think oh and yeah should, and you should do both but yeah. you just became a master recruiting so i want you to tell me the story when you felt because obviously you've had your ups and downs mm. but in the beginning there was you you were you were doing good you were mm. kind of doing what you were doing yeah. not like massive success but you were kind of growing your yeah. side income you were excited about it i remember there was a photo of you in a magazine and you had your suit and tie walking around liverpool with a briefcase was there anything in the briefcase or was that just for appearance no, it was just make, for a show just for a show so you would look like it was a concept. on wall street or something. yeah it was a concept but that's but that, events you wore a suit yeah and you polished wore. your shoes and you wore a tie, tie and everyone did the same and yep. the women wore suits as well yeah but there was a moment where you probably should have quit when when a there woman was, you probably remember uh, the name the uh, woman yeah, the yeah. woman's name we, uh, we what, can't go public really, really i mean we're not going to mention her name right no. we can call her jane doe right for okay. example mm. Tell me that story. Okay. Well, this is how it worked. With the product, mm. we prepaid for the product. And the product, you had a choice of either getting the product sent to your house mm. or to your distributor's house. So this lady, Jane Doe. <laughs> I nearly, you nearly yeah, slipped yeah. it out then. She, Shame on her, by the way. Shame on this woman. Yeah. So we should make it public, but we're not going to. No. Um, she said to me, oh, Simon, I'm, I'm getting all these orders and all these orders. And the product was a Christmas item. It was mm, a Christmas product. Seasonal. Yeah. It was in December. And she said, oh, I'm because I joined in October 87. Mm -hmm. And this is in December. I said, Simon, I've got all these orders. I've got all these orders. I said, put them through, Jane. Put them through. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, I'm going to save them up to get to the next level of discount. I said, hmm. Anyway, she gave me these, this order that took her to the top level of discount. And I said, okay. I said, but then you've now got to pay for it. She said, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pop over. She said, I'll write you a check and I'll give you the check there and then. And you can place the order. Being naive, I said, okay, great. She came over. She lived, I suppose, about... 20 odd miles from where I lived. Right, like half an hour, half yeah, an hour or so yeah, away. Yeah, it's down yeah. one road, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she came out and I got so excited. I bet. I said to you, Mum, oh, I found my rock star. I thought you could build a massive empire with one yeah, person. Uh, yeah. So I then took her check, took the order, phoned my upline, gave him the product order, gave him my payment details. Mm. Banked her check, and oh. it bounced from here to Kingdom Come. Oh, the no. order went direct to her house. Whoa, 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 whoa. So she'd suckered you in. Yeah. I mean, you were new in the game. You yeah, had no yeah, idea, yeah, right? Yeah. No one tells you these yeah, things. Yeah. It doesn't happen now, fortunately, no. credit cards and stuff. But you made the order. You placed the order of thousands of pounds. Yeah. The product arrived at her house. So she has thousands of pounds of product. Yeah. She can go sell yeah, individually, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah. She gave you the money, but you didn't get the money. No. So you're now minus. How did that make you feel? It made me feel really sick. Yeah, I bet. So I turned around to my what wife, yeah. your mum, yeah. and I said, right, I'm going to make enough money uh -huh. to get that back. Then I can quit because yeah. this is not for me. Wow. Oh, <laughs> my days. What happened? <laughs> I went from one person to another person and it just went boom. Kind of became your why. Yeah, it big kind of time. became that why. So, of really, 
Right this moment now, mm. I'd like to thank Alex. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you a surname, but Alex, if you're ever listening to this, I need to thank you because it wasn't for you, you silly bitch. Oh, I can't say that. Oh, um, I might not be here. So now, 35 years later, 14 million later, yeah. Yeah. it's like made me a fortune. The Alex effect. Yeah. I love it. I love that. So you you actually turned your biggest low into your high greatest. And I wouldn't be what I'm doing if that wasn't no, for her. So I want to say a massive thank you to you, Alex. <laughs> you numpty. <laughs> uh, I say it in a slightly different way to my dad, you know, but uh, still has the same effect. All right. So you're growing and growing and growing mm. and growing and growing. There's some tough times with the companies that you joined. The first yeah. company did was a, was a perfume company yeah. and different things happened because it was very early in network marketing. It yeah. wasn't figured out. No. And you got involved in a health and wellness product, health and wellness company, yeah. was with them for 18 years, 156. 156,000 distributors. In all these different countries. Yeah. I remember when you'd made it. I remember we were we were living in a house called Beaches. Well, it wasn't called Beaches Brook. It was two Regents Field. Was it yeah, number, number two? Number was it two num- yeah, number two. No, number one. Number one Regents, Regents Field. Regents right, Field. Number one Regents Field, Victoria Road, Formby, yeah. L371YX. Yeah, very That's nice. the postcode, so mm-hmm. people can Google map it and you can see the house. But Dad wanted to change the name. The neighbour didn't. There was one, two, three yeah. Regents Field. Correct. Dad wanted to change the name. The other two didn't. So you called it, what did you call that house? Beaches Brook. And what was the reason why you called that the house? The word beaches came with the, if you look at the Grand National, the biggest- the horse race. Hi, yeah, biggest, highest fence in the horse race, race is Beaches Brook. Because you went from here, yeah. you jumped from here. Yeah. To, how cool is that for a name? Right. And then obviously Brook being Brooks. Yeah, Brook sure Brooks. Yeah. Yeah, same See, thing. we only lived about 500 yards from the beach as well. Yeah, so where, it was a double where, red, where Red Rum, yeah, who's used to the, train. The, the most famous horse of yeah. all time, used to train, which so it's such a great name. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Was that yours or mum's? Yeah, mine. Was it? Was it mum? Yeah, both. All right. She said both. Both. <laughs> it was mine. <laughs> it was mine. But I remember, I remember when you'd bought um, a Mercedes CLK convertible. <laughs> And I remember mum got a BMW 3 Series convertible. Now, today, they're amazing cars, but 18-year-old kids are driving them because of the whole finance. Back Mm. then, there wasn't car financing or loans and stuff. So you just... And I remember getting driven to school, me and my brother, roof was down, the end of the kind of term. And all of my friends were like, oh, what does Fraser's... What does Fraser and Corbin's mum and dad do? What do they do? What do they do? They're not doctors. They're not dentists. They're not surgeons. They're not heart surgeons. They're not brain surgeons. They're not accountants. They're not solicitors. They're not lawyers. They're none of this. What do they do? And I didn't know what to say. And I remember me and my brother saying, they help people make they help people make money. Yeah. And they were like, oh, how, how, how? We don't know. We, did, we had no idea how you were doing it, but you were crushing it. And I remember being so proud because everyone else wasn't turning up in these cars. Now it's a little bit of a different situation, yeah. right? People are doing this, but like back then it was just like, it was it was incredible. But bearing in mind, your mum and dad always came to your sports days. Yeah. Always, always came there. to all your, all your events. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We never had to ask a boss, mm-hmm. can we have that time off? Mm-hmm. We yeah. could always be there. And then I started to get a bit suspicious because there was a time where you went to Malaysia and the Philippines. I think mm. it was like, I think it might have been both of those. But Malaysia and Philippines. No, they was were it just separate, Mal- but it was, it was Malaysia. Separate. Yeah, Malaysia first. You were there for what felt like a month. I don't know if it was two weeks or four yeah, weeks or whatever. Two but you, weeks. It felt like a month mm. to us. And you come back and we were like, Mom, where's Dad gone? Where's Dad gone? He's like, oh, he's gone to Malaysia. We were like, Malaysia, where's that? Like showing us on a map how far. And we were like, wow, well, started thinking that you were some sort of spy. We started <laughs> thinking that you were some like agent. We didn't know. And then you brought back some dodgy DVDs. Right. Back in the days, I don't know how many of you guys remember the, the dodgy D- DVD days. I probably shouldn't disclose this. But we're watching these DVDs and people are walking past, past the camera whilst you're watching Jurassic Park. And my friends came around and we were the first to watch this 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 move like this movie. Like, how is Fraser's dad like getting these movies that aren't even in the cin- cinema yet? And we're like, I don't know. He just seems to figure it out. So you started to grow. You started to grow. You started to grow. Yeah. What do you feel? has been because you made millions and millions and millions of dollars Mm. um what do you feel has made you bulletproof because there's been many times where you've celebrated but there's been thousands of times where you've gone i can't be bothered getting out of bed today i can't be bothered doing this today i always focus on 
the next person that I can show the opportunity to mm. and help them go from zero to hero. Mm -hmm. It's just being one of those bland distributors that don't know how to recruit people or don't even want to recruit people. That's not me. Mm. It's like I'm thinking, why bother? Mm. I always like to help people to get up the ranks and get them to make some physical money in their product, in their pocket. Pocket. So with that then, I remember for 10 years, 10 years straight, every week you had a goal to yeah. recruit someone new, yeah. didn't you? And when you recruited them back in the day, when you had this goal, it wasn't $100 to join. No. How no. much? How All much? those people came on board as what we called instant direct. So it means that they qualified at a certain level. Yeah. And they how much is it? Two and a half thousand pounds worth of product. Two and a half thousand pounds, which is like nearly, th it's like three, three and a half thousand dollars. So for the people listening who are thinking, oh, I'm struggling to recruit one a month, one every three months mm. for two hundred dollars. There's obviously something in their mindset or their skill set that they're not doing because you're out there with no social media, mm -hmm. like getting one a week. And you did one a week every week for every week. 10 years. Yeah. 520 people. Yeah, in 10 years. 524 people in 10 years. Do you remember the process? Um, yeah. So I'll tell you from my perspective and then you can kind of fill okay. in the gaps what was happening. I remember you would, there was, there was three things that you would have on your desk. You would have the phone, a piece of paper and a pen. And you would obviously place the advertisement and you would you would expect was it like thirty to forty calls a week. Yeah, about that. You would place an advertisement mm -hmm. in the Daily Mail, was mm -hmm. it, in the Mail on Sunday, whatever. Yeah. Um, and the phone would ring, and if the phone rang, we knew in the house like it's game on. Like yeah, yeah, we had to be quiet. There was many times where Dad would open the door, open the window, and shout because we'd be playing with our friends, and it'd be way too way too loud. Anyway, you'd be like, right, the phone rings, game on, and you would have this paper, and you would blueprint everyone. Yeah. Why did you do that? Well, I learned real fast that if you're going to rob a bank, okay, the first thing is you need to do is you need to get the blueprint. A shotgun. Oh, okay, no. a blueprint. Oh, yeah, blueprint. Okay. And you need to work out your escape route. Right. So you need the blueprints of the person. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, okay, so if I'm speaking to somebody, I need to blueprint them. Mm -hmm. Who are they? Where they live? What, what's the background? Mm -hmm. Have they got family? Have they got children? Mm -hmm. What is it? And I need to find out person after person after person mm -hmm. after person. Mm -hmm. Find out everything from mm -hmm. them. In actual fact, I found some of the sheets yeah. going back about a year or two. Ago, no way. And I couldn't believe all my copious notes on each and every individual. Copious? Yeah. Good, good word. I know. I was quite surprised. I know. We, me and Dad try and keep it simple. Yeah. Um, so using fancy words like copious is a bit... It throws, us off, throws me yeah. off sometimes. Yeah, well. So I remember you, you would write the name, yep. their phone number. Yeah. Because you, you always said, if you don't get their phone number, they're a suspect. suspect. But they're a prospect when they give you their yeah. details. If not, they're yeah. a suspect. If you give someone a business card, they don't give you one back. Forget it. Forget it. Suspect. Yeah. Right? So I remember like David Jones, for example. Yep. Da David Jones, his phone number, his email address if he had it at that time. Mm -hmm. Then it was like... Two kids, Bob and Sarah, yeah. um, has been in network marketing for 17 years. This is the companies that he's done. And then you would give a score out of 10. Yeah. So you would, and I'd be like, why have you given them a score out of 10? How do you know? Because in weeks to come, yeah. you won't remember that conversation yeah, that true. vividly. When you've done so many. Yeah. yeah. So you need to make sure were they a one, were they a knobhead, or <laughs> were they someone good? Are they a 10? So what I tended to do was I, when I sent the information out to them. Which, by the way, remember that because I want to talk about that process. But okay. when you sent the information out to someone. I then set up a meeting where they had the time for the information to be sent to them, for them to read it and for them to give me a call back. Now, mm -hmm. I realise for me to call everyone back would be a nightmare. So I needed to put a system in place mm. where I got those people, I gave them a hook mm -hmm. to ask them to give me a call back. So let's talk, this person's called John. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking to him on a Monday because the business to business in the mail was on a Monday. Right. So I said, okay, John, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you all the documents that you can make an intelligent decision whether you think it's going to be for you or not. 
Does that sound fair? Magic. Then he turns right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, if I send it to you on a Monday, put it in the post on Monday, it will then get to you by at least Wednesday. You can then spend, let's say, Wednesday, Wednesday evening going through it all. Could you give me a call back, John, on Thursday afternoon or evening? Which is best for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, it would have to be by the time I get in from work, it would have to be in the evening. Okay, let's say 6.24. Does that sound fair? Mm -hmm. Always so specific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, yeah. Now, now I said, John, when you call me back, can you please put in your notes? I would like to offer you a business proposition. Mm. Give him a hook. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, why is he going to call me back? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely will. Definitely will. Definitely will. Okay. Now, did they all call me back? No. No, yeah, of course. So what did I do? Do I just leave them and forget them? Never. Yeah, always follow up. Yeah. Always follow up. So, but this is the question that I asked them. Mm -hmm. So let's go. 6.24 was the callback time. So I'm going to leave it around about 10 minutes. So I will phone him back and say, John, I'm really, really sorry if you try to call me. Mm. I was just manic. <laughs> My phone was rammed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. It wasn't rammed. No, no. He didn't have a clue. Yeah. Because he never phoned. Because you know, you know he didn't, come, he didn't yeah. call. <laughs> so I said... But what I was going to say, John, is if it's a fit for you, mm -hmm. if you like what you saw, I'm going to give you a proposition. Mm -hmm. Now, you've not called me back, mm -hmm. so I need to ask you a favor. Would you go through the information and would you give me a call back tomorrow evening? Let's go 627. Mm -hmm. Does that sound fair? Mm -hmm. I don't eventually they're gonna they're gonna call you back yeah. and obviously you have it so here's the thing that i want people to know about this though is when you you, you the phone had called yeah you'd made notes mm -hmm. you had these diligent notes copious yeah. notes yeah. you said right mm -hmm. and then when the phone went down and someone had said i want the information mm -hmm. it wasn't what it is now of i'm gonna send you a link no. i'm gonna invite you to a zoom presentation no. zoom wasn't even a thing no. zoom was you zoom fast was that was when a car went past right, went past door. zoom Right? Yeah. It was a noise. It wasn't a, yeah. an app. It wasn't a technology. Yeah. So I remember we would go into the dining room, right? Started at Phillips Lane because mm -hmm. dad went from all these different houses. Just kept leveling up, leveling up. Cl climbed the property ladder, but yeah. put it that way. Different dining room, right? A different dining room every time. But there was eight, seven or eight stacks of paper, wasn't there? Yeah. Sometimes it was like this high, super, super high. Mm -hmm. And each stack had a piece of paper on it, didn't it? Yeah. Like information page one, two, three, four. And then you would put them in like a black folder. Remember the black yeah. Go black Global yeah, folder yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, it was? Yeah, you probably yeah. still got one of them floating yeah. around. And then you would put it in an envelope. I still remember all this. And you put it in an envelope, you would write their address on because now you've got it. Flip and neck. People don't get people's address anymore. You're getting his name, his email, his phone number, and his full address with his postcode and everything. Yeah. It's crazy. And the name of his kids and all that. Yeah. So you then go to the post office, you send three, four, five of these a day. Yeah. Some could get lost. The dog could eat some of them. Mm. They did. They did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dog ate it. I'm sorry about that. And now it's so much easier. But still, you recruited 524 people in a 10-year yeah. period yeah. paying £2,500. I didn't know how to stop. You didn't know how to stop. So... What do you feel has created that mindset? Because obviously the people watching and listening to this, a lot of them need, it's mindset and, mindset and skill set, isn't it? Yes. If you've got a bulletproof mindset mm -hmm. and you've got really strong skills, yeah. you're going to get the jet set. You're yeah. just going to win. It's inevitable. But yeah. the, the mindset is the foundation. What would you say to the people listening and watching? What's been some of the things that you've implemented in your day, in, in day-to-day -day life? Or what's some of the things that you do that just allows you to be the most consistent person I know? Because you, you're obsessed. Yeah. And maybe that's... I guess well, that's even fun. though we're here with you in Dubai, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking about my business. I'm still doing messages and everything else. I permanently, permanently prospect people. Now, I'm very, very strong using WhatsApp. Mm. I think WhatsApp was made yeah. for network marketing. 100% was. 100%. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah, I, I am convinced Mark Zuckerberg is a network marketer. Yeah. Because he's created... <laughs> his, his goal, he, he created Facebook... Yeah. And the goal for that was to connect the world. Yeah. Duh. That's network marketing. Yeah. Connect the world. Then he creates this other goal with groups. I want to I want to connect the world to a community. Network marketing, greatest community there is. Yeah. Right? It's made for it. But okay, so use WhatsApp. Yeah. Why do you use WhatsApp? Because 
when I send a message to people on WhatsApp now, mm-hmm. I know if they've watched it because mm-hmm. you get two blue ticks. Two blue ticks. Yeah. So then, yeah, so okay. then I know <laughs> if they've sent it, if they've done it. Now, people say to me, yeah, but I don't know many people, Simon, I've got involved. Well, okay, what about this then? You're out and about and you're seeing a plumber's van. Mm-hmm. They have a phone number mm-hmm. on the van. Let's go English. Let's say it's 0165249 or whatever. <laughs> well, you know WhatsApp, you take the zero off, you put a plus, you put uh-huh. four four, yeah. and that's a WhatsApp. Yeah. So send them a WhatsApp or mm-hmm. call them mm-hmm. and say, hey. <laughs> that, sorry, that's a joke. That's a joke, and I dad, can't do it. Right, dad, dad has this joke, right? <laughs> He's not going to tell it this time. He's going to tell it another time, but it's. <laughs> but as soon as you, you can't say hey like this, because so anyway, so I saw no one, no one watching or listening is laughing because they don't know. The they joke, haven't got a clue. But I'll, a clue. I'll tell it to them later. One, Way one, yeah. later. One one day, yeah, one day. So I, w- I would then turn around and speak to the, the plumber. plumber. Yeah. Um, I saw your advertisement and I just wondered, are you open to making an additional income mm. or do you just do plumbing? Mm-hmm. Full stop. Do do? Now, they're going to give you an answer. They're going to say, oh, yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm not I'm only into plumbing. Mm-hmm. That means they're closed minded. Yeah. Then you're going to get a percentage of people that say, oh, yeah, I'm open minded. Mm-hmm. What, what do you mean? Okay, well, I've got a video I'd like to send you. Mm-hmm. Would you let me allow me to send you a video? Mm-hmm. It will change your life. Mm-hmm. Take four minutes out of your life to take the rest of your life off. Yeah. Does that sound there? There's that magic sentence again, mm. that magic question. So, and the thing is, as I've learned over the years and what you've taught me is that people with the closed minds have the most open mouths. Yeah. So they're like, oh, no, it sounds like one of those. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. But the people who have the open minds are like, yeah. I mean, I'm interested. Send me. It's funny. So, it, it's more now in today's today's age that people are more open to network marketing. One hundred percent. There's two. It. There's two types, aren't there? There's people who are inspired to join and people who are desperate to join. Yeah. You were desperate to join. Yeah. I was inspired by you to join. Mm. So I was like, well, he's crushed it. I can do this. Yeah. So during COVID, people needed to do it. Then people were crushing it in COVID. So then people were like. People are making loads of money, so that put fuel onto the fire. But now with this recession <laughs> coming, people are now desperate. Like, I need to make more money. My fuel prices have gone up. Everyone's got their own reasons for, yeah. for doing that. So what I love about this, though, you have a very secret strategy. It's a very special strategy, and hardly anyone does it, and it's very powerful. So you told me, you said that it's much easier to get someone to give you their number when you say, hey, what's your WhatsApp number, instead of saying, what's your phone number? Yeah. Because phone number is private scares people it does doesn't it 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 does so but you do something when you get someone to when you get someone's number and you send them on whatsapp you save them and you put them into what's called a broadcast list don't you you still you still do this don't you all the time all the time right so for those of you who, who are listening and watching a broadcast list is where you put the numbers that you have in a list. You can have up to 256 people, I think, per yeah, list. Yeah. And when you send a message to that list, it goes, me to Simon, me to Bob, me to Mary, me to Samantha, mm. me. And if they respond to it, it comes straight to me. Yeah. So it's like me sending... Um, but mm-hmm. none of the others can see the message. Yeah, only, yeah. so it's a private yeah. message, but you're sending it to many. It's like an email broadcast, yeah. but people don't check their emails all the time. They check WhatsApp all the mm. time. So you find a plumber. You call this plumber, plumber, and again, people can message the plumber, or you yeah. find someone on Facebook. Could be a decorator, yeah. could be an electrician, it could be anyone. Another, another, so the, the first step is how do you generate the number? First one, you driving down, or you're in the supermarket, or you find a flyer in a shop window, whatever, yeah. you contact that person. Or you do posts on social media. Every day, you just wake up, you put a quote on, you yeah. put something on, yeah. a photo on, and anyone who comments, mm. you you don't mess around. And for, th- for those of you out there who've commented on one of my dad's posts, you will have received something where you basically look to stop messing around on the in the inbox and you just basically say, message me on WhatsApp, yeah. here's my number. Mm. Or I also do the other thing where I go to birthdays, friends' birthdays, mm-hmm. and I send them a b- birthday message mm-hmm. regarding the, mm-hmm. the opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know, I have an opportunity. I've got somebody this age making this amount of money. Are you open? Mm. Most people don't even think about that. Right. So you're leveraging stories of 
others. Of, of others. Yeah. yeah. People by people. Yeah. I know it's funny because I remember when I, I came to you, I was 21, 22, and I felt like I was too young. And you said, go recruit someone who's older then. Mm. And I was like, oh, that, how? And you were like, well, I come to you for different technology things. There are people out there who are going to want to join you because you know more about social media, mm. you know more about the internet, mm. you know more about technology. And then I leveraged the older stories when I was speaking to someone older. And you would leverage the younger stories, the people who come to the event who were younger yeah. as well. So you would get someone, again, you would do a Facebook post. Like, here, here's the strategy for the people listening, watching. Mm. You would make a, a, a Facebook post or an Instagram post or yeah. a story or whatever. Yeah. Someone shows interest. You're going to say, hey, this is so great. I don't want to just send it on on the on, on, on social media. I want to send it to you by, by WhatsApp. WhatsApp. What's your WhatsApp number? Mm. Or here's my WhatsApp number. Send me a message and I'll send it through. Yeah, That's step one. Yeah. Step two, Bob messages you and you're going to send them the information. Yeah. But you're also, step three, going to add them to your broadcast list. Correct. So you go into broadcast list, mm. add members, Bob Jones, select, done. Yeah. Now you have 17 people in your broadcast list. The final step is what you do with the broadcast. So what are you sending in the broadcast? Are you sending testimonials? Are you sending presentations? Are you sending videos? Are you sending images? What are you I doing? will send a, like a four minute video. That so like be. every like, do you do it once a week? Do you just do um, it now and again? Now and again. Because I remember, so what happens is when you send the broadcast list, it, a message to the broadcast list, it just sends them to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And when someone replies, you get a notification on your phone. Yeah. But you, Use WhatsApp on your on your computer, don't you? Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, you can go on web.whatsapp.com. Yeah. Uh, you can scan a code from your phone and you can have it on your computer so you can just work from your yeah. computer. But I remember being at your home in Formby. Amazing home, by the way, guys. Dream, 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 dream. You've had many dream homes, but I would say the third, This Philip's name was, was a dream home for many. You, you shared the story about your team leader coming around and being like, whoa, and you were like, we're just about to move. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Regent's Field, Beaches Brook, yeah. was, that was in the paper. I remember yeah. for those people who watch football, Kevin Keegan uh, used to be the manager of Newcastle Football Club. And uh, he, it was Newcastle and Manchester United in the Premier League going. And he made this famous quote. He said, I would love it if we beat them. I would love it. And on the front of the newspaper was him. And you were a separate article with the yeah. fact that you just bought this crazy huge mansion in, in mm -hmm. Formby. The third one was Victoria Road, which I share the, the dream store, the dream home yeah. story about a lot. It was mm -hmm. the dream home we designed as a family. And the fourth one's where you live now on the private golf course. There's yeah. only one house on the entire yeah. golf course, which is just unreal. Five minute walk from the beach. And it's if you, private. anybody listening to this, uh -huh. you, if you know anything about golf, uh -huh. how many of your contacts have got three red stakes on their property <laughs> three red stakes that's how close we are to the golf course yeah, your garden is the out of bounds basically yeah <laughs> so what i love well, the reason why i say this is because i was in that house mm. three like th a meter away from three red stakes mm. and all i heard was bing 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 dad what the heck that says whatsapp notifications and i'm like what do you mean whatsapp notifications is someone really trying to get hold i don't know i sent a broadcast out and I was like, what? So you got all these people. How many yeah. are on those lists? I've got thousands. So you, because you've just collected numbers. Different, yeah. So here's the question then. The internet gets wiped out. The, the, have you seen the movie Avengers? Have you seen that with like Iron Man, Spider-Man, Hulk? Yes. Yeah, clearly wasn't that good for you because yeah. you were like, yeah. But in that movie, the th Thanos, he clicks his fingers and half the world dies okay imagine if there was a social media thanos click and social media died mm -hmm. it actually happened about six months ago a year ago where everyone was like oh it's not working anymore it's not working anymore da -da 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 -da. um and so you would you would be all right <laughs> yeah because you have thousands and thousands of phone numbers many thousands so the question i have for the people out there how many phone numbers do you actually have because if they have none their business is solely reliant on social media correct so, how can people do this system themselves? How do they? How can they get the broadcast messaging working for them? Are you simply just posting anything on social media? You're in Dubai at the moment, so you're posting yeah. lots of photos. Yeah, of being in Dubai. Um, well, that goes on my Facebook. Yeah, that's Facebook. You don't use Instagram, TikTok. You got YouTube, but it kind of unlisted. So just you're all in Facebook because yeah. you find it the easiest for you to just do. Okay, I'm going to share something with you. Oh, that's no. a little bit mm, embarrassing. I didn't realize that IG was Instagram. 
IG with it. Okay, is it? I thought it was a different company. It's a stockbroking company. Yeah. <laughs> it's so old school. It's great. <laughs> like, oh, it's great. So you would post something, mm. whether it's a photo, a yeah. quote. People would engage, comment, yeah. Yeah. right? Because you get people from time to time. Sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's a little, yeah. right? If you then take photos with mom or with yeah, the dogs yeah, yeah. or you do a video of your home and mm. stuff, it blows up. You're then messaging those people saying like, I've got something that you're going to love. Message me on WhatsApp and I'll send you the details. Yeah. And by the way, my dad has possibly the greatest phone number in the world that a person can have. It's just, there's two types of people when, you, when he tells this phone number. You guys can get it. You just message him and I'll send it to you. But be warned, you will be added to his broadcast <laughs> list, right? He does what he says he does, right? Um, there's two types of people. The first type goes, no way is that your number or wow the second I mean, person maybe. goes oh, okay let me repeat it back to you it's zero da, 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 da. and you're like have you not got on to the fact that that was the greatest number in the history of phone numbers yeah. anyway and the funniest thing is if i actually just say the number mm -hmm. it's more sexier if i do it as a whatsapp it's not as good because you've got a plus four yeah four, 79 73 79 73 79, 79 there you go there you go you got his number yeah you can pause it, rewind 10 seconds and you can hear his number. And the thing is, you're very open to helping anyone, aren't you? Anyone. Like, you, he will pitch people. Yeah. Um, you're going to know what I do. But that's... Uh, but, but, that, but then that's because you're a professional network marketer. You're, you're not over 18 and you can make your own decisions, live your own life, right. wake up. Right, 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 right. Exactly. And if you're happy doing what you're doing, then great. Yeah. Um, so, so, okay. So, you put a quote on, on Facebook. You can do the same on Instagram, TikTok, and all that fun stuff. Someone messages you or comments. You're messaging them. If yeah. they message you, great. If you message them, great. They then message you on WhatsApp. They're getting the information, a video. What, do you have like a four-minute video, seven-minute yeah. video? Four-minute video, great. You add them to a broadcast. Yeah. And then every now and again, you're sending presentations. Or, yeah. Testimonials? Could be testimonials. It could be income. Income. Proof of income. Proof of income. Could yeah. be result-driven. Result. Whatever. So just anything, really. Yeah. But it's never just like, hey, guys, just check it. Like, hey, Bob, hey, legend, hey, mate, just checking in. You're awesome. There's always a point. No, the, what's the point of doing it? And it pisses me off, excuse my language, when people do that to me. I'll pass that point. It's like, yeah. oh, hello, Simon. How are you today? Yeah, that, dad's... Nap off. Yeah, so dad's very... Direct. Direct. Very, very direct. To the point. There's no point in faffing around. You yeah. haven't got the time. Because you haven't got the time for it. No. Because you'd rather build a relationship when someone's in. Correct. Right. And then other people do it different ways. So the assignment for people who are listening is to start implementing how or start finding out how you can take the social media contact offline. What I mean yeah. by offline, WhatsApp is still owned by by Facebook or Meta yeah. or whatever. But when you have their WhatsApp number, you have their phone number. Yeah. So go back to the basics. Build what was it called? A Rolodex? Rolodex? Was it a Rolodex of contacts? You're going back decades and decades and decades. Yeah, but everything goes full circle. Well, yeah. Right? Every, so what is you were saying before, you started customer, 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 mm. customer. Then you went team member, team member, team member, team member. Now the industry is customer, customer, customer yeah. again. And it has to go recruit, recruit, recruit yeah. again. It has to. Because what's happening now in the industry of network marketing, and it's amazing to see all this data from my resources, is the number of customers is growing massively. But the number of people joining the industry is down and as we know there's a, a lifespan to majority of people yeah all right you join so if 100 people join today a year from now there'll be 20 left so what's happening is the number of people joining is low the number of people who are quitting is the same so the number of people who are left inside the network marketing space is a lot lower but that's where it gets exciting for us yeah because as network marketers as you in the field and me mm. training that for me the people who are in are in and for you in the field, there are less people in the marketplace. Correct. Who are who are out there? Yeah. So, one thing I have to say. So again, guys, your assignment is to figure out either using Telegram because you can use a Telegram channel. It's not as good as no. WhatsApp. I predominantly use Telegram mm -hmm. for existing distributors. Right, team, your team. Yeah. Right. It's phenomenal for communication. Yeah, it's amazing. Again, communication mm -hmm. is the whole thing here. Because you can get twenty thousand on the Telegram group. Yeah, so your team communicate as a group or yeah. as a thing, a channel on, on Telegram. But what content can you create 
you're doing that anyway. You're going to learn a lot of that in, in future in future interviews. Then what are you doing to get them onto WhatsApp? What are you sending when you get them onto WhatsApp? And then what are you going to send when you what are you going to send when you get them in the broadcast? But it's very simple. You've shared it. When you get them on the WhatsApp, you send them your information. Yeah. Then you do your follow up. Then you use the broadcast messages as an additional follow up yeah. by every week. Follow up Friday. Yeah. Right. If you're like me and you need to have structure every Friday send a message in the morning. Hey, here's a testimonial I wanted to share this week. Yeah. Hey, here's a result that I got. Or well, it could be Monday Madness. Monday Madness. You could do Friday and Monday. Heck, why yeah. not? And if people are like, stop sending me messages. It could be Tuesday and okay. Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> it could be anything. You got, you got loads. Yeah. You got loads. Of so what happens when someone goes, get me off the list? Well, the benefit stop is sending me messages. with the broadcast, they can't take themselves off the list. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I use it. When they're in, they're in. Or when they're on, they're on. They cannot remove themselves off the list. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about WhatsApp. As we wrap this up, thank you for doing this. Because you're on holiday here. Te technically, we were supposed to be looking after the baby. Yeah. Um, she's, she's five weeks. Gorgeous. No, no. She's, but she's, I'm biased. Yeah, you're bad. She's not, she looks nothing like you, hence why she's very gorgeous. <laughs> very gorgeous? Can you say very gorgeous? You can't say that. But anyway, we're saying it here. Uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for... Because a lot of the people who, a lot of the people who, who are in, in this community and who follow me and read the books and stuff, they will know a lot about your story because I talk about your story every time. I think every point that I share has a story related back. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, because the hair is getting, getting gray and the brain is not as fast as it I used to it be. Really it's all right, it's white. Mm, you're hanging on to a couple. Okay. Maybe it's the lighting. All right. Um, sometimes you have to pull the information out, right? Because yeah. it's when you have a million stories and a million trainings, mm -hmm. thousands of keynotes, it's sometimes hard to remember them all. Mm. And that's why I'm so grateful. We've got this recording for life and yeah. anyone and everyone can watch this as many times as possible. Before we go, what is something that you would like to say to the audience? What's something that's, what would you say has massively helped you? Because for me, you have mastered the art of separation in terms of when everyone's taking a Saturday morning off, you ain't. When everyone's, when everyone's, watching, when everyone's watching the football on a Sunday afternoon, you ain't. If the phone rings and you're at the dinner table, you're answering the phone. While we're on that subject, I do have a phobia and it really pees your, your mum off. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if my phone rings, I have to answer it. Mm -hmm. Not, oh, I'll get around to it afterwards. Simon, dinner's ready, dinner's on the table. Be there soon, love. Why? I know why. I don't want to miss a call. I don't want to let somebody down. But if you go really deep, deep rooted at the beginning of this, you said you'd phoned three people in a newspaper and all three of them went to voicemail. Yeah. You put down, you put the phone down. The fourth person answered. Yeah. And now you, you were in that miss, person's business. You could miss a superstar. You were in that. So that's, that's probably the deep rooted yeah. behind it. Here's the funny thing, guys, as well. The person that recruited my dad into net marketing <laughs> ended up joining my dad's team. Yeah. So if you out long, if and you he emigrated from North Wales North. to Australia. 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 Wow. Perth. Perth. Amazing. So and shout I, out. To and him. I still speak to him, sort of like on a daily basis. Thirty-five years later. Yeah. Thirty-six on October one. Yeah. Thirty-six years. Yeah. Wow. So what would you say to the people who are tuning in? They're listening to, they're, they're going to get access to so many interviews. Okay. They're going to get access to an amazing community. They can share their wins. They can share what their bingo moments from this, this yeah. thing was. What's something that a lot of people listening in are probably either trying to get that shortcut, trying to get that secret, trying to get that strategy. But there's maybe something that's missing. Maybe it's a belief, maybe it's mindset, vision. What is it? Belief is, is possibly one of the most important things, but you need to create a magnificent story. Mm. Now, for you to do that, you might need to go to your upline or to your upline's upline or to your upline's upline's upline. Get to somebody that you can communicate with and you can turn around and say to them, can you help me package a really good story? And if you haven't got a reason why you joined the company you're in now, you need mm -hmm. to wake up and shake up. Well, yeah, I mean, network marketers are professional problem solvers and yeah. professional storytellers. Yeah. And I, I will leave on this because for me, it was one of the funniest moments ever. So we're in, my dad is like, um, what do you call the dictaphone? 
You're like a, you're kind of like a dictaphone in, in a good way. Whereas I can press play, and the story that comes out of the dictaphone uh, right. will be exactly word for word your story. We went right. to was it last Grand Vegas? Can- yeah, there we go, yeah. Grand Canyon, right? So we're in Las Vegas, and three of my top leaders are in the car: me, you, mum. And another top leader, right? Yeah. So all, all on the team, and we're one big family. We, yeah. we, we had something called the Leadership Advisory Board, where it's like an inner circle, mm. and we'll talk about that in another another episode. But uh, we're very, very close. And it's, by the way, it's a big minivan thing, so there's a lot of people in this car. We're not on the roof and in the, in the boot. And we drive from Las Vegas Strip all the way to Grand, Grand Canyon. We have the day in Grand Canyon, living the dream life with all our friends and our family and our, our inner circle. And as we're driving back, your phone rings, I think you were in the front driving with Alan. Alan was driving. I think yeah. you were in the front. And you were doing a presentation. And your story was so word for word. Me, Sergey, Alan, Manesh, Mum, Caroline, all the people in the car were literally saying your story as you were saying it. <laughs> so much so that you should have just put it on speakerphone yeah. and let us do it. Because we'd heard it so many times. So the classic, what gets repeated gets remembered, what gets remembered gets repeated happened because you just, you have this amazing story mm-hmm. and you just tell it to everyone. Yeah. And I love that about you. So thank you for well, doing thank this. You. Thank you to everyone listening in. I hope there's something in value. If you can comment and communicate or maybe um, send my dad a message on what, he'll probably want it on WhatsApp. Send yeah. my dad a message on WhatsApp or on Facebook. Go and follow if, him. If you do send a message to me on WhatsApp, mm-hmm. please can you make sure you let me know how we've connected to there you that? Go. Oh, I heard you and Fraser on an interview. But hey, yeah, don't just ask a message. Simon, what do you think is best for your favourite colour mm-hmm. or whatever? I don't do crap. <laughs> just to let you know. Now, you might think I'm brutal. You might think I'm... Direct, direct. Direct, yeah. You, you, I, I am. I'll tell you this. Um, something I've learned and what I've appreciated about you and we'll, we'll sign off is in order to be a mentor, you have to sometimes be a tormentor. <laughs> and you've tormented me over the years, yeah. but it's the best thing that ever could happen. You always said to me, Fraser, your biggest weakness will be that people are going to walk all over you. Yeah. And now I don't stand for any of it. And that's because of you and many other things. So mm. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for listening. You're Guys, welcome. if you've been tuning in, do me a massive favor. If you're able to, comment down below. Let us know if you want to share it in a different part of the community as well to let other people know why they have to listen to this episode. I hope you got a few bingo moments. I hope you got a load of notes. Uh, and yeah, make sure you go and find my dad on Facebook. Don't bother with Instagram and this stuff. Go on Facebook. <laughs> you won't send find him me a on message. Instagram. You won't <laughs> find me on TikTok. And uh, have an amazing day. See you on the next one. Take Bye-bye. care, guys.